Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're going over a brand new keyboard optimization guide in order to get your keyboard running at the fastest speeds possible, meaning you can hit the fastest edits you could ever ask for, but first you need to do is go in the description of today's video, join this Discord, scroll all the way down to free tweaks, and in here, the second tab, it'll say keyboard panel, there is two options here, there's an updated one that we're covering and an old one that we've covered before. Now, this is a brand new version, dropped two days ago, so this is going to be all up to date, so make sure you follow every single step here. Now, what you need to do is click this download option it's going to take you to chrome and basically basically you're going to verify the download and then you can close this once you've done that you open up your downloads here as soon as it lets me open it up and then you'll see it here you right click here and make sure you run this as administrator so that way every single optimization it needs to do it can do properly without any problems and you're good to go so it makes a restore point i would have told you before the video started to make a restore point but since it does it for you there's no need to say that so you're good to go so if anything bad happens you can run all the way back to where you were before you did anything. When you get this open, uh, you'll see, well, there's six options here. All do something different. So we're going to start at number one. Number one is, that is 12. Number one is disabling, disabling sticky keys. Yo, dude, we can't speak today. I'm not about to deal with that, I'm going to be honest. Next is extra tweaks. Now, there's nothing crazy to go here with. Yo, I do want to quickly say, sorry about the random stuff going on in the background. Look, dude, I don't know what that was, bro. Alright, there's a bunch of random stuff going on, and of course it had to happen today when I choose to record a video. Alright, that's on me. That's on me for real. But please just look past that and see what see the real beauty of the video and and uh, learn to love it. Anyways, let's get back to it. Oh yeah, first you gotta see this crazy clip I hit. Yeah, get cooked. Get cooked, buddy. With extra tweaks, it's kind of just saying extra tweaks. So let's give this a shot. And it should say everything that it does. It did not say anything that it did. That's great. That's great. But I already know what it does. It basically just disables a bunch of things that cause latency on your keyboard. So, you know, that's fun, right? So low latency, exactly what you need, right? Thanks to have keyboard data queue size. Now this is where it gets complicated if you don't know what you're doing. So when you open it up, you're going to see um, this, okay? You want to go to data queue size here. You want to make sure you're set to hexadecimal. Now stay with me here. It don't get that complicated. Just click OK. We're going to drag this where we can see everything here. Go ahead and reopen this. God, there's so much going on right now, man. Just open. All right, there we go. And okay, as you can see, do high end, mid end, and low end. This goes by your PC. Now, if you're on a high end, you want a lower number. If you're on a mid end, you want a mid number. If you're on a low end, you want a high number. Okay, I'm pretty sure I said that completely wrong, but you get what I'm saying here, right? So I'm on a high end PC, therefore I have mine set to 14. Now, if you don't know your specs, you could drop them in the comments, and I'll be like, yeah, you're high end, low end, mid end, or dog shit. So just go ahead and drop your drop your specs, and I'll let you know what it is. But more than likely, you're going to be anywhere from mid end to high end. So I would recommend just you know putting this as low as you can. If your keyboard starts to stutter, just up it by two or up it by one, and go until your keyboard's not stuttering anymore, and you're good to go. That'll get you the lowest latency, and it'll just make your keyboard run a whole lot better. And then just click OK, you close this. And then you can move on. Click any key to continue. Let's go ahead and continue. Next, we're on Power Plan. Click four. It's gonna open your Power Plans. Ryzen Free Power Plan V1 is the Power Plan you want. Yes, I do have this Power Plan here, which is the one I'm gonna use because that is with the better tweaks um option that you know you can see down here if you click X. That's in there, and I already have that. So, and if you want to do that, go ahead and click that. There's a link in the description. You can open all this up. Right. Next is pulling rate. Now, if you watch my keyboard and mouse video, you'll probably be on the mouse option if you haven't done anything. But make sure this up here is set to keyboards. And then in here, you want to make sure your keyboard is set up correctly. Now, in order to know if your keyboard is set up correctly, um, basically you need to know what the hertz is of your keyboard. And the best way to do that is opening up Chrome. Sorry for the flash bang. And then you type what? That is not what. Uh, what is the hertz of the? I know what my keyboard is. So Apex Pro Mini, and then let it load and then okay it won't tell you we love that okay so what you do is you scroll down a little bit and here it is it can be set to 1000 hertz that's that's what the keyboard is the apex pro mini is a thousand hertz keyboard i already know the answer so i know that's correct but it is a thousand hertz keyboard for the apex pro mini if you look this up it should come up for you i don't know why it didn't maybe it's because i'm searching on yahoo somehow yo this this is just you know what man i'm not even gonna complain anyways let's open this up now you want to make sure wherever everything just went, you want to make sure that this up here is set to keyboards, like I said. Okay, and then, yeah, yeah, key, keyboards. Okay, and then you want to open up, you want to run this 1K right here, run as administrator, and then you want to set both of these to 
a thousand. A thousand, and then hit install. And then install. Make sure both of these are installed. Type stuff, type stuff. Then you're gonna go. That is, that is it for, for right here. You can close all this, close that, and uh, click any key to continue. Next, this is the new thing. It is this selective suspense. You click six, click, that is 66. You click six, click, okay. Yo, why are we being difficult right now? Click six, click. <clears throat> Go ahead and reopen that. Well, that does absolutely nothing. So if you click six and click enter, as you can see, it does stutter. So something does change. Obviously, that's what that means. Trust me, I promise. Anyways, so that is taking effect here. So that is the new thing. And in their Discord, they do say that that is what they added right here. Boom. That is what their new thing is added. Now, this is V2, meaning it is a lot better than V1. That's technically what that means. So definitely download V2, not V1. V2 is better than V1. That's why there's a two and a one. This is the updated one, right? So do this one. And your keyboard will now run at the fastest speeds possible. And not only that, if your keyboard still feels a little off, but better, because it's going to feel better after doing that, trust me, you can download the app to your keyboard, open it up, and in your keyboard app, make sure that your keyboard, don't be silly, dude, make sure your keyboard is set to the right speeds. Now, as you can see, I just labeled main because everything is set to 0 0.1 in here which is the fastest a keyboard can go as of right now. So make sure you're doing that. And then take rapid off of W, A, S, and D. Okay, that will make it to where you can't walk no more. So if you're having problems walking, have this off. And then click save and you're good to go. I know a lot of people that don't even know that that exists. And it's actually kind of sad. The potential they don't have with their keyboard because they don't have that on. That made sense, trust me. Okay, so definitely make sure you're not being weird. And you have that all set to 0 0.1. Now, that is it for today's video. If you did like it, make sure you like, subscribe, share it to a friend that is butt cheeks on keyboard because they're slow. And this can possibly help them out. And I'll appreciate you. They'll appreciate you. And I'll appreciate you. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.